Christopher Melendi, TechLogix Networks. We're here today to talk about the Ecofiber Termination Kit. Um, this is a video to just tell you what's really inside of it. Um, we'll post some other videos to, to talk about how to use it to terminate Ecofiber and other types of uh, fiber optic cables. So, first in the box, you're going to notice you've got your tool bag and you'll end up with a box of Kim wipes. These are fiber optic cleaning wipes for wiping your fiber optic clean. Um, these are replaceable. We have these available. You can buy these um, separately when you run out. In the tool bag, um, you're going to get a bunch of items and we'll just go through those. Um, first and foremost, you have your fiber optic cleaver. Comes in this protective blue case. So you have a full size fiber optic cleaver. Um, there's a little black plastic bin in here. The bin goes um, on the end of the fiber optic cleaver and that is used for catching fiber optic shards. Um, you'll notice that there's a little notch in the end of the or in the bottom side of the of the, uh, the bin. Line that up with the hole on the bottom and in the in the bag you'll get also this um, small bag of tools for the fiber optic cleaver, a couple of Allen wrenches for adjusting if you should ever need that, um, and then a set screw. That set screw is what holds the, the bin on. Um, this is a fiber optic cleaning bottle. This is for alcohol or whatever else you're using to clean your fiber optic with. Um, pretty simple, pop the top, squeeze down a couple of times with some gauze and that will get that wet for you. Um, carrying case, this is the carrying, um, the shoulder strap for the carrying case. And then we also have a five milliwatt VFL, visual fault locator. Um, and that comes with a 2.5 to 1.25 millimeter adapter. Um, that's for adapting um, the VFL by itself has 2.5 millimeter, which is compatible with primarily SC connectors. Um, if you're doing LC connectors, you'll want to use this adapter. Uh, that requires two AA batteries, which are not included. You'll have your fiber optic three hole stripper. Um, you've got the two millimeter or three millimeter strip hole um, here. Um, and then 900 micron and the 250 micron um, that gets you down to 125 micron, the bare fiber that you'll need. Kevlar shear for cutting the aramid fibers um, or Kevlar on the, um, on the fiber optic cable. Careful, those are sharp. And then additionally, we have some marking devices. You've got uh, Fancy Technologics Network Sharpie, and then a metric ruler um, that you can use this for making the marks on your fiber for the strip lengths and the cleave lengths. That's really all that's, that there is to it. Um, if you have other questions, um, you can find more information on our website, www.tlnetworks.com. <music>